Welcome to today's edition of uh, Zambezi Lessons. Today I'm going to take you in the mathematics. I'm your presenter, Mwenya Edwin Mubanga. So today we are looking at uh, dividing fractions. Under fractions, the most difficult part that most of you fail to understand is on how to divide fractions. Especially if we include in terms such as the reciprocal of yeah, when given questions, those they really confuse many of you, of which uh, it is just necessary that we understand on how best we can deal with uh, dividing of uh, fractions. Let's take for example, if we have uh, in our example number one, example one, sure this is visible enough. So in our example number one, we have uh, two more number, then four over seven. This one is being divided by three more number. Now, if you have a question like this, remember the first thing that you did in the fractions is uh, you did uh, something on how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Because here what we have is a mixed number. This division is totally different from uh, the way we deal with questions that has to do with it, uh, subtraction, uh, addition, and multiplication. Uh, addition and multiplication. Now, since we have a mixed number here, we have to work out this one in order for us to find the correct answer. For example, if I have one more number here, then I have two here, then over four like this. If I have to change this into an improper fraction, remember this. Here, it's multiplication here. Then on top here, it's addition. Meaning that we are going to multiply 4 times 1, then plus 2. In order for us to change this into an improper fraction, which will give us 4 times 1 is 4. Then plus 2, that gives us 6 over 4. So this is how we do when we are changing uh, a mixed number or a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Now back to the question here. We have 7, we have 2 and 4. Remember here there is a multiplication sign here and here there is addition sign. So we begin by changing this into an improper fraction then we work out this one. So here it will be 7 times 2, which will give us 14. Then we'll say 14 plus 4, this will give us 18. So the number that we are going to have here is 18 over 7. Then this one, we are dividing it by the reciproc of any given number. For example, if you have the number 2 like that, you want to find the reciprocal of the number 2. The reciprocal of the number 2, it will be 1 over 2, which is half. Half is the reciprocal of 2. If you have the number 4, the reciprocal of this one will be quarter, which is 1 over 4. So in this case, I'm sure you have an idea of what we mean when we say the reciprocal of 3. We have to find the reciprocal of 3, which in this case is 1 third. So here it will be 18 over 7. Now, once you find the reciprocal of 3 to be 1 third, one thing that should come into your mind, or one thing that you should remember always is that this division sign, the moment you introduce the reciprocal, the division sign changes into multiplication. So here the sign of division has changed into multiplication. The moment you change the division sign into multiplication, here you are not going to write the number 3. You are going to write the reciprocal of 3. In other words, which is 3 goes down, then 1 goes up, which is 1 third the reciprocal of 3. 
The moment you reach this stage, the question becomes even simple because here you are going to work out the same way we do it in simple because here you are going to work out the same way we do it in uh, multiplication. So here you are going to look for the numbers that can divide diagonal. Diagonal, I mean like which number can divide the 7 and 1 without a remainder. Of course, these two, if we divide them, they will give us the same number. But if you look at the numbers 3 and 18, these are diagonals as well. In other words, diagonals, they are lines which are like that. So we are, multiplying, we are dividing the number here, the number which is there, also the number here and the number which is there. So in this case, the diagonals that we have here, you have 3 and 18. So we are going to look for the number that can divide the 3 and 18 without a remainder. So in this case, we can say, here we are saying that uh, you look for the number that can divide the diagonals. If I divide 1 into 1, it will give me 1. 1 into 7, it will give me 7. So there is no need for us to divide this diagonal because this one is already simplified it's, it's, uh, in its lowest terms. But instead, we are going to concentrate on this one where we have 18 and 3. There is a number that can go into 18 and 3, which is the LCM or uh, HCM81, which is the highest common factor that can go into this. Now, in this case, we have a 3 here, which we can say 3 into 3 is 1. 3 into 18, this will give us 6. So, once you do this now, we are almost done with the question because what we have here is simplified and we can work it out further. So this one is the same as 6 times 1, which is the same as 6 over 7 multiplied by 1 over 1. So 6 times 1, here you have 6, then over 7 times 1, here you have 7. Now before you conclude to say this is the final answer, you ask yourself a question to say, is there any number that can divide the denominator? I mean the denominator and the numerator here. If there is no number that can divide the two numbers given here, meaning this is your final answer. Because 7 can't go into 6, and then there is no number that can divide the two of them without giving us any remainder. So this is one way for now you can work out here, fractions. So let's quickly look at uh, the other example. Let's quickly look at the example number two. This one, the question is totally different from the first one. Here we had a mixed number or mixed fraction, which we changed into an improper fraction, which we had 18 over 7. Now this one has both uh, proper fractions, proper in the sense that the number on top is small and then the number at the bottom is bigger. I'm sure you remember that uh, concept. Now, this one, we are going to work it out directly because there's nothing to start converting or changing from a mixed number into improper fraction. So this one will be 2 over 7. Uh, since there is a division sign here, the division sign will change into multiplication sign. Once it changes into multiplication sign, it reminds you to find the reciprocal of 5 over 14. Now, the reciprocal of 5 over 14 is simply the opposite fraction of this one. And the opposite fraction of this one is simply 14 over 5. So here it will come out as in 14. So here it will come out as in 14 over 5. Once you reach this stage, everything becomes simple because here you check the diagonals. So after checking the diagonals here, now you identify that the diagonals that can divide is this one and this one, which is the minor diagonal. The major diagonal here can't divide because there is no number that can go into any 5 without leaving a remainder. So in this case, we have 7 here. 7 into 7 is 1. 7 into 14 is 2. So when you have this, it's the same as having 2 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 5, like that. This one is simple to multiply. You just go direct multiplication. So 2 times 2, this gives us 4 
and then 1 times pi this gives us a final. Again, before you confirm to say this is the final answer, check if there is a number that can divide 4 and 5 without a remainder. In this case, we don't have, and this remains our final answer. Okay, so we are just going to go through one more example, that is example number 3, and after we are done, I'm sure I can leave you with some questions that you can try. Uh, so, this is all for that one. Let's look at the example 3. Example number three is different from uh, uh, this question and example one in the sense that here we are starting with a whole number and then this side we have a fraction. So you need to balance your fraction. Balancing will mean this one will become one over four, it becomes a fraction. Then it's to divide in eight over two, like that. So here we have just balanced the fraction. One of I mean four over one divided by eight over two, like this. Now we proceed from this stage where you have now four over one. This division sign changes into a multiplication sign. The moment it changes, it is asking you to find the reciprocal of eight over two. The reciprocal of 8 over 2 or the multiplicative inverse is simply 2 over 8. 2 goes up and then 8 comes down. Now, like this, it is easier to work out because we won't know how to work out multiplication uh, questions. You check the diagonals 1 and 2. If you divide, you simply get the same answer. Then the major diagonal here it has 4 and 8. So here you check, you will see that there is a number that can divide both. 2 can go into 4, it can also go into 8. But 2 can go into 4, it can also go into 8. But we cannot start from 2 because 4 itself can go into 4. So we can say 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 8 it gives us 2. And this gives us the answer which is Z. Uh, 1 over 1 times 2 over 2. So if you multiply this, it will give you 1 times 2, you have 2. Then 1 times 2, you have 2 like that. Remember what I said here. I said when you find the final answer, check if there is a number that can divide both numbers, the numerator and denominator, and reduce your fraction. In this case, we have 2 over 2. We cannot leave it like this. We have to reduce this fraction into its lowest terms by looking for the number that can divide both numbers without giving us a remainder. So in this case, 2 itself can be used. So we can say 2 into 2 is 1. 2 into 2, 1. So you have 1 on top there and 1 down here. 1 into 1, your answer will be 1. So for this one, our answer is 1. So this is how to go about it. You just have to remember the rules for division is that when uh, the division sign changes into a multiplication sign, the fraction on the right side, it should change into a multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal, which is changing the denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator. That way, you're doing the right thing. And then you continue with the division of the diagonals. Thereafter, the answer that you find, you multiply. After multiplying, the final answer that you get here, check if it is able to be divisible by any other number. If it is not, you just leave it like what we did here. If it can be divisible, you leave it like that, like the we have done here. Okay? So, thank you so much for uh, watching today's uh, Zambes lessons. Hoping to see you in the next edition.